Apple is closing out the 2023 product year with what might be its biggest reveal on the smallest scale. Today, the Cupertino tech giant announced not one, but three new pieces of Apple Silicon, all under the M3 moniker. Along with three new chips Apple unveiled a collection of new MacBook Pro laptops running them and a resuscitation of the somewhat dormant iMac line with a new iMac 24-inch featuring the baseline M3 chip. So how powerful is the Apple M3? Is there anything different with new MacBooks? Let's dig in. It's now been three years since we saw the first collection of Macs running Apple's Silicon. The MacBook Air, MacBook Pro 13-inch, and the Mac Mini, launched Apple's rapid departure from the x86 Intel world to an SoC platform of its own making. Despite being Apple's first attempt at desktop and laptop-grade Silicon, those systems were widely lauded and Apple's had similar success with virtually every Apple Silicon variant released since, including the M1 Max, and M1 Ultra. Some might argue that the M2 wasn't enough of a generational leap, but Apple appears intent on wiping that impression away with its M3 class of chips. Unlike the M1 and even M2 where we waited months for core options, the M3 arrives with a full array of core and performance variations in place. Like the M1 and M2 before it, the base M3 has an 8-core CPU and 10-core GPU. The M3 Pro starts with 12 CPU cores and an 18-core GPU, and the M3 Max has a 16-core CPU and up to a 40-core GPU. The new M3 class of chips will live inside a new MacBook Pro lineup that, with a couple of exceptions, looks a lot like the M2 class MacBook Pro. First, though, Apple is finally putting the MacBook Pro 13-inch with touch bar out to pasture. The MacBook Pro line will now start with a 14-inch model. This means that the base MacBook Pro M3 is, at $1,599, more expensive than the smaller $1,299 MacBook Pro 13-inch running to. However, it's also cheaper than the MacBook Pro 14-inch running to. All models now start with a base storage of 512 GB and the M3 Pro and M3 Max can support up to 128 GB of unified memory. Basically, you get more for less but the bar for entry to the MacBook Pro excitement is now a bit higher. Apple didn't redesign the MacBook Pro. Owing to some component changes, the weight is slightly different. However, everything from the Liquid Retina XDR display, it's now 600 nits, but that's due to system efficiency and not a new panel, to six speakers, keyboard, trackpad, and 1080p FaceTime camera are unchanged. There are still three Thunderbolt USB-C ports, just two on 14-inch M3 models. Apple is also breathing new life into the semi-dormant iMac line with a new M3 iMac 24-inch. As with the MacBook Pro line, the hardware here, leaving aside obvious component differences, is unchanged from the M1 iMac 24-inch Apple launched a few years back. This includes the lighting cable-friendly keyboard and trackpad peripherals, for now, there are no M3 Pro and Max options for the iMac, nor is Apple talking about a 27-inch model. So that was all about the Apple's new lineup of M3 chips, MacBook and iMac. Which one did you find interesting? Let us know in the comments section below.